what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here i am very excited i did not ever think i would get to come on here and talk about something that we could potentially be getting in the future related to the 13 ghost property for the first time in over 20 years at this point because apparently there is early development of a 13 ghost limited series i would assume 13 episodes obviously but patrick mediate or mediate and aaron mcclain who hosts the screenwriters podcast have a 13 ghost tv show in very early development dread central revealed this exclusive report and patrick chimed in on twitter with this tweet cats out of the bag major announcement from drag central on a project i've been working on with my co-creator aaron mcclain through our new production company primordial picks in partnership with dark castle entertainment 13 ghosts the series aaron i know is a vfx supervisor for the walking dead and he ran into before i even get into that i'm going to basically be recapping the podcast episode but i implore all of you to go listen to this podcast their excitement and their enthusiasm for this is the type of passion i love to see from people getting involved with the horror genre we need stuff like that i love the passion behind their voices and i hope that this project is picked up by the last people it needs to be picked up by because dark castle entertainment is already on board with it and the producer i'm about to talk to she's already on board with it as well but aaron who is a vfx supervisor for the walking dead series ran into ashley robinson who is a Fear the Walking Dead producer at an event, and she mentioned wanting to do a 13 Ghosts TV show. She admitted there were no writers attached to it yet when asked, and Aaron said, me and my co-host will put together a pitch deck for you. So they envisioned this as a 13-episode series that expands the mythology because Aaron actually mentions that he thinks the 2001 film drops the ball in regards to exploring those mythos. Uh, apparently, it was like a 15-page pitch, Ashley ended up loving it and they did it with Cyrus's voice in mind so that the pitch deck is like Cyrus's journal in a way, which is freaking phenomenal to hear how creative they took this approach, which is kind of explaining why so many people ended up being on board with it. Walking Dead executives praised it. Showrunners of Walking Dead apparently praised it. Writers praised it. They just had everyone involved. So then the next step became, okay, well, who do we go to? Who has the rights to this? They ended up tracking down it. Of course, Dark Castle Entertainment and Sony Pictures Television have rights to this. So Dark Castle after they had the show pitched was excited and pleased with it they apparently loved the world expansions and the concepts and they said let's take it to sony after the pitch meeting since sony has half of the rights to this ip as well dark castle said this is the version of 13 ghosts that best represents it for us it's a crown jewel in our library and your version is what we want to go with for a series dark castle even helped these guys get prepared for their sony pitch and during the pitch apparently the sony executives were sp were smiling but then the writer's strike happened two weeks after the pitch and it hasn't officially been picked up by sony just yet due to this while images of the pitch deck start coming across your screen here i'll go over this note from the pitch deck in dread central's article a quote from the bitch from the pitch deck goes as follows every culture in the world has its ghost stories and this reimagining of 13 ghosts presents an international sampling of these supernatural tales the ghost stories within each episode will have their own stylistic look and feel that will be explored and influenced by each individual director so they want to have different directors for each episode this makes our ghost vin our ghost vignette stand out stylistically as they set out as they set the theme for each episode so we're finally going to have a show that i know a lot of people have been clamoring for a show regarding the firstborn son the torso the angry princess the bound woman the withered lover uh the torn prince another one is the pilgrimist i believe another one is the great child and then the dire mother the hammer the jackal and then the other one i think is the juggernaut i'm literally trying to think of kalina's monologue in that film because i've seen that movie so many times i love it it's not a great movie by any means but it's a childhood favorite of mine and i've always saw the potential in expanding this into a tv show and giving backstories on these ghosts because the designs and the makeup of these of these ghosts in that original film has always been something i thought this is very impressive and there's a lot of appeal to these ghosts because of the makeup and the backstories that are kind of teased but they don't fully dive into it and people have been t saying they should do a tv series i see people talking about netflix should do it but you know what with 
with this pitch and their enthusiasm, please listen to this podcast. These guys, I think they deserve to be able to do this. I I think this show deserves to be picked up. I hope that something positive can come out of these strikes soon because these are some of the things we could be missing out on if not. This was just an amazing thing to come across. And the concept art, as you saw it come across your screen, I absolutely loved it. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification and memories of video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews I'm going to cover in the future. Uh, I'll leave a link to the podcast in the description as well. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.